Welcome to our today's tutorial. We are still looking at equilibrium of bodies in liquids. Now we have a question 1994 uh, question on this. We have the question is the density of water in is the density of water is one grams per centimeter cube. So we can see our density. Let's use this for density of water. Okay, let us go density of water which is rho is equal to density of water is equal to one grams per one gram per centimeter sorry per centimeter cube while that of ice so uh, let me have this density of ice that's density of ice is equal to 0 0.9 grams per centimeter cube calculate the change in volume when 90 grams of ice so uh, uh, mass which is mass mass of ice or we can say slash that of water is equal to 90 grams 90 grams so the question is we should calculate the change in volume so change in volume is to be calculated you can use this as change in volume now you look at this question critically we can observe that there's a relationship between mass density and volume and the relationship is that uh, density so we can have using this formula density is equal to mass over volume that's the same thing as m over rho sorry m over v so if you have this and if you're looking for volume looking for volume it's going to be volume is going to be mass because when it was multiplied to be mass over density which okay, density is density is rho density so the formula is going to be mass volume will be volume is going to be mass over our density now so what we're going to do we're going to look for the volume of each of this uh, we're going to look for the volume of water we look for the volume of ice because these are the two uh, substances that we have here so let's start with the first one so that after getting that we find the change the change is subtraction so we're going to have volume of water the volume of water is equal to mass of water over density of water which is equal to now the volume of water is density of water uh, density of water which is this the density of ice is this mass of this is this so we have mass of water we still we have the same thing the mass of water and that of ice they are the same from the question we take them as the same mass of ice is completely melted so from ice it has melted to become still the same uh, 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 density so that of the ice is the same thing as the density of the water because the ice melted completely and when ice melts of course it turns to water so we have mass of water is equal to 90 over density of water the density of water given here is is one density of water here is one so when you divide this i'm going to have 90 centimeters cube as volume is in centimeters cube is in is that meters cube or centimeters cube you check they are all in centimeters so the units are in the same subunit no need of converting them so we have volume of ice it's going to be mass of ice over density of uh, ice which is the same thing as the mass of ice is mass of ice slash water it's still the same thing as 90 over the density of ice is 0 0.9 so when we divide this we're going to have we divide this we'll have 90 divided by 0 0.9 we have 100 so i'm going to have 100 centimeters cubed so therefore the change in volume is going to be therefore change in volume is going to be volume of ice 
minus volume of water. So that is what we are going to use the relationship. So change in volume, which is change in volume V, is going to be 100 uh, minus 90, all in centimeters cube, which is going to give us 10 uh, centimeters cube. Sorry, it's going to give us 10 centimeters cube. So this is the solution to this question. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to always like, to kindly subscribe, and to share our videos. Uh, we we'll still have more videos on this topic. Thank you.